Did you know that you can enter text on your computer without typing? All you need to do is just speak and your spoken words are converted into text. In this video, I will show you how to use the built-in dictation function in the Windows operating system. This video covers voice typing functions for Windows 10 and Windows 11. Voice typing on Windows uses speech or voice recognition, which is built into Windows 10 and Windows 11 operating systems. There is nothing extra to download or install to use this speech-to-text function. Just make sure you have a built-in microphone or any external microphone connected. To start dictating on Windows 10, select a text field, press Windows logo key and H key together. This will open the dictation toolbar. You can start talking and get your speech converted into text. If you are using a tablet or touchscreen, tap the microphone icon and start talking and your speech will be converted into text. It is the same steps for dictating on Windows 11. Select a text field and press Windows logo key and H key together. This will open the dictation box. You can start talking or click the microphone on certain devices before using the speech to text function. You can do voice typing in Google Docs, voice to text in Word documents or voice type in any other software and fields that accept text. To stop voice typing, you can click on the microphone again or just say a command like, stop listening. Microsoft support website lists all the voice command functions that you can use for your voice typing activity. There are also multiple options for voice typing certain items or functions. This makes it easier to remember certain commands. Microsoft Windows voice typing supports many languages, which makes it easy for many people to dictate in their native language. Some of the supported languages are English, Chinese, Dutch, French, German, Hindi, Irish, Italian, Japanese, Polish, Russian, Tamil, Vietnamese and many more. The voice typing commands are also available in all the supported languages, which you can look up in the Microsoft support page. I have included the Microsoft page link in this video description. Microsoft Windows voice typing is one of the most useful features that I frequently use. I type a lot using the computer and voice typing has made typing so easy and I avoid strain to my hand and wrist. Too much strain could cause RSI, also called repetitive strain injury. Have you tried Windows speech recognition to type on your computer? If not, you should try it and let me know your experience in the comment section. On TechTube TV, I make useful and easy to understand videos on technology-related topics. If you like my content, please consider clicking the subscribe button to follow my future video uploads. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.